Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 810. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 806 to 811, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to see how to use the rank if function. Let's see, so uh, rank if. It doesn't look like there's such thing as the rank if. You'd think, you know, they have count if and averages and sum if. You'd think there'd be a rank if, but there's not. So no problem. We can use the sum product. Now ranking, what do we want to do? We want to compare all of these numbers and give first, second, third, et cetera. So the biggest number would give, get first. The problem is we have different departments. So these are students and their department, and we need to rank them. So within poli sci, we need to rank. So 91 is the largest score in poli sci, so they need to get a, uh, a first. But when we get to finance, we also need to have a first, second, third. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the sum product. The sum product can multiply arrays. The first trick we're going to do is we need to isolate all of the finances together and then compare these. So for finance, we're going to say, hey, we're going to build an array of trues and falses that says anything in this column is equal to uh, finance. So I'm going to click on the cell and say, is, any, is that equal to, and then the whole column. Now I clicked in the cell and I use Control Shift down arrow to highlight all the way down, and then the F4 key to lock it. Now what this will do is this will just give me an array. If I hit F9, it gives me trues only when it sees uh, a finance. All right, I'm going to Control Z. I would just F9 to evaluate that to show you. Now we really can't have trues and falses within an array, because when you multiply the arrays in some product, it won't multiply trues and falses. So we need to convert these to double negatives. I'm going to convert these to ones and zeros using double negative. Now, there's a couple ways we can convert trues and falses to ones and zeros, but double, double negative is the fastest calculate. So I'm going to put a double negative. And now I need to put parentheses around this, because that equal sign, the hierarchy of how uh, calculations are made in Excel. Equal sign comes near the end, and this is before. So we need to have this evaluate uh, first. And once we get all trues and falses, then the double negative will convert all of those to ones and zeros. I'm going to hit F9, and now you can see we got ones and zeros. So there's ones every time we see a finance. Now, what in the world are we going to do with that? Now, I Control Z to get it back. So F9 evaluates it so you can look at it, what's doing it, and then Control Z to undo it. Now that's our first array, but what in the world are we going to do with that? We're actually going to now create a second array that ranks the numbers. We'll have a bunch of true falses for the second array, and we'll multiply them by these true falses. Remember, right now, these are just trues for finance. So I'm going to type a comma to get to the second array, all right? And we're going to build an array of uh, trues and falses, and we're going to have to convert them to ones and zeros also. So I'm going to use that same trick. Now watch this. This is such a cool trick. I originally learned this from a post from Dominique at uh, Mr. Excel Message. But we're going to say, hey, let's compare that number and ask the question, is it less than anything else in this column? So I'm going to click there, Control Shift Down or on F4. All right, now I'm going to close parentheses. Now what this does, and we'll take a look here. Actually, I'm going to scroll, scroll over. And I'm going to highlight this and hit the F9 key. It's saying, is anything else in here less than this? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, is anything in the, the, the column greater than that? Because the small side was pointing to the 24. So it's asking the question, please give me a true anytime it finds a bigger number. Well, look at that. We have a bunch of trues. If we were to have one for each true and then add them up, it would tell us exactly how many numbers are bigger than 24. But because we have this second array of trues just for finance, it will, when we multiply them, true times true is the only time we'll get a one. So it's a clever way of getting a bunch of ones, and then the sum part of some product will add them, and it will tell us the rank, how many numbers are above 24. Now I'm going to Control Z, close parentheses. Right, so 9, and then I'm going to double click and send it down. So just like that. Now there's one last thing is there's for poli sci, since it's first, our question was how many numbers are greater than 91 in the poli sci department? Well, 
it's zero, right? Because it's zero. So if you want to list one, two, three, four, we then need to add one. Now, plus one. I want to just take a look here at these two things right here before we do that. I'm going to F9. Oops, I'm going to Control Z. I'm going to enter this first. Double click and send it down. And now I'm going to do something kind of uh, crazy here. I'm going to evaluate both parts of the sum product just so we can see how this works. Now, when you hit the F9 key, you can Control Z, right? And then Control hit F9 again. But if I go ahead and hit the F9 key on the second part here, F9, my Control Z, my undo, only works for this. That is now hard coded into the formula. So I'm going to eventually use Escape to get out of this. Control Z, 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 Z. I cannot get back to that. So you've got to be careful when you're uh, doing this. But there it is. There's a finance 1 times a 0. So we're going to get 0. There's a 1 times a 1. So this number is bigger, and it's finance. So that's how this multiplying of arrays with 1s and zeros, these 1s and zeros for yes, it's finance. These 1s and zeros, yes, the actual number, it, all the number in this the whole column is bigger than that particular number. You multiply them, and boom, you get a count. I'm going to control escape. Oh, I almost control escape. Now let's do one last thing. Let's evaluate this up on formulas. Um, right there is the formula evaluate formula button. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut tough. Alt T U F. Alt T U F. And then you can watch this in action. Evaluate or enter. Enter. See, so it's got all the trues for. And eventually, it's got all the ones and zeros, and then it's going to do this one. Enter, enter, enter. And then it's got 9 plus 1. I guess this uh, evaluate formula wasn't very helpful, because it's you can't really see it oftentimes, because this window limits it. That's why that F9 trick sometimes is pretty cool. All right, um, we can see poli sci. That's first. That's 12th. And you could go down and look through all of these, and it got it perfect. There's second, so 80 is second place in the poli sci. All right, see you next trip.